Whew, just in time. <laughs> I was hoping that I would be on site a little bit sooner than I actually turned out to be. Monday morning traffic jam. I was hoping I was able to set up before the Singapore Airlines 747 was arriving and we made it. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome to the show. You're watching Amos Live, my name is Boy. It's Monday, April 8th. We're at the Polderbahn, where calmness has returned and the uh, Orange Pride will too return, arriving from the west. So, 99% sur certain it is going to land on Polderbahn. Some more interesting traffic is expected. The very first airplane of the day. Singapore Airlines Cargo 747-400 arriving from Nairobi in Kenya. Flight 73-43, 8 hours and 27 minutes. It has been underway thus far. 23 years old, first flight September 2000. Let's look and listen. And a very good morning to everybody who has joined us already. Good morning to Thomas, Halil, flight pilot, Johnny, Wolfgang, if you're still there, <laughs> Jackie, good morning, Kerel, Fritz, good morning, Leo, Ronald, Paula. Salut Michel, ça va bien, merci beaucoup. Et tu, comment ça va aujourd'hui? Les cruis morgen. Hey la Reza. Martijn, Zivi, Ed, Maria, Jeroen. Good morning one and all. June, goeies morgens. Goeies morgens deze morgen. Now let's quickly turn back. Chris and Curtis are also here. They were making a ruckus. This is United Airlines flight 909 arriving from Chicago O'Hare. 7878 Dreamliner. Adi Pim, good morning. Adam White, good morning. And the firefighters unfortunately already passed me by as I was still setting up. They did their round, now they're testing their equipment as they always do. Or at least almost always do. After their round. Hey there Steve J, good morning, good to see you again mate. Alrighty. What a nice combo shot. Might even make a thumbnail, <laughs> come to think of it. Leroy, Gino, good morning, goeiemorgen. Uh, where's the squeaker? Is that him? Or was it another one that I haven't spotted yet? Uh. There's our troublemaker, waking up the neighbors.
Air Baltic up next. Driving from Vilnius, flight 961. Six year old airplane, first flight June 2017. Killer Spiel Spieler, good morning. Ali S, good morning, good morning. Hey there, Lois, good morning to you too. Hope everybody has had a good weekend. Poldebaan at the moment, the only runway being used for arrivals. And this is what the weather looks like. There is cloudiness south of us. Looking to the east, you can see the border of the cloudiness to the right and more open skies to the left, which is what you see in the northern half of the sky over here right now. Hardly any wind which you can probably tell by the audio. I always use the same mic settings, but you definitely hear things much better when there isn't a lot of wind. Arriving from London City, this is KLM Flight 978, Embraer 190. No image stabilizer needed to get steady shots these uh, today. <laughs> World of difference. Howdy, Roadhog. Goedemorgen, man. Susso, good morning. Who is Susso is tuning in from Georgia. Good morning. Georgia, United States, or the country Georgia? Martinair, goedemorgen. Otto, good morning, good evening. If you're tuning in from the Far East, probably afternoon or evening already over there. K1 with the VW on patrol. What wind there is on the scale of chimney smoke looks like this. Hardly any wind. Alrighty, next up, NEO time, A320 NEO, arriving from Copenhagen, SAS flight 2551. Year old airplane. Ah, country Georgia. <laughs> Thank you, Sesso. <laughs> Don't know if we've had people tuning in from Georgia before. I think you are, if not the first, then at least one of the first. Welcome everybody else as well. Now, third consecutive day that we are going to see the next airplane. The first time we saw it, it was a special livery bringing us together since 1923. Let me click on the... Oh yeah, it is the same airplane again. It's the Finnair A350 arriving from Helsinki. Flight 1301. Two hours, ten minutes underway. Three-year-old airplane, first flight May 2020. And also a big, big thank you to Gino, our latest Aurora Skylines member. Thank you for choosing AMS Live, Gino. I hope you will like it in the lounge. Be sure to use the custom emojis whenever you see fit. Thank you so much for your support, mate. Hadi Mies, goeiemorgen. Chin Chun Lo, good morning. Right, Finn Air bringing us together since 1923.
already slowing down. Is that a thin air butt shot in the making? I think there is. Oh yeah. Yo, Captain Jerry, good morning mate. Hope you've had a good weekend. Good to see you again. Hope all is well. Indeed, Stephen, beautiful. Look at that ass. <laughs> Only here on Amos Live. Alrighty. We have a little bit of a break. Let's have a quick look at the um, stuff coming in. Um, weather, not very important. Wind is blowing from the south, four or five knots few clouds at 1500 feet, nothing exciting. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. The Singapore has already landed. The next airplane of interest is going to be the A330 from Suriname. We have the Orange Pride expected around noon. We have a Saudi A747 expected around 112. We have a China Airlines cargo expected around 2. Not sure if I'm going to be around because the Emirates is... Oh, well, yeah. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be around for this one, but we do have Suparna and that is expected around 12.50. Now, I do have a busy schedule today. Unfortunately, I have a busy schedule today, so I don't think I will be able to make it until the Air China Cargo has landed around 2. I think I will wrap it up, unless something very special is coming closely behind the A380. I think the A380 is going to be the last airplane. This was Delta Airlines Flight 56, A330 NEO, having arrived from Salt Lake City, three-year-old airplane. First flight September 2020. Now, a big, big thank you to Ali for your super chat. And Ali writes, it's so cool we live in a time where we can see these beautiful planes fly while people in the past dreamed of flying for millennia. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. I think, I think even the Wright brothers would be surprised if they were alive right now to see how much progress we've made in that respect technically compared with what, what they came up with. Absolutely true. Now, in the meantime, also good morning to Steven and to Paul and to Lee and Jan. Good morning to Brody. Right. The clouds are moving in. Initially, it was looking a bit more bright to the north. It is quickly getting more cloudy over here, as you guys can see. Then again, a bit further away. Also some openness, also some blue bits over there, so might not be too bad. Not think, I don't think we're going to see a substantial amount of sun today. But it isn't cold and it isn't windy. H1 bird control van. For a long time it was just the pickup trucks. Not sure if it is a new addition or if it was already there before, but... Lately, we've also seen the H1 van <laughs> from the bird controllers. Anyway, SAS A320neo arriving from Oslo, flight 821. One hour and 38 minutes it has flown to get here.
E-I-S-I-C, sick. This sick mother is six years old already. First night was in December 2017. With the Morgan Feldy. Daniel, good morning, goedemorgen. Doing fine, thank you for asking. Hope the same goes for you, my friend. Got the polderbaan almost completely to myself. Was the first car arriving here? It does seem that a few people have in the meantime arrived at the parking the parking place. The parking. And there was this one guy that was here, arrived a bit later after me with a big camera and lens, also doing some photography. And of course some approaching cyclists. KLM flight 1040. Having arrived from Birmingham. 23 years old this one. First flight April 2000. Canal Kurdistan, good morning. Jean-Patrick, good morning. Hey there Ross, doing well, thank you for asking. Hope all is well in British Columbia as well. Hadi Dirk, goeiemorgen. And Gino says, I like your channel. Well, thank you so much, Gino. I do my best. I hope you will continue to like what I'm doing in the future as well. Hey there, Carol, good morning. Or good afternoon to you. Mitchell, good morning, mate. Good to see you again. Hope all is well. Jasper, goedemorgen. Our next airplane is from BA, arriving from London Gatwick, flight 2540, A320, 41 minutes it has flown to get here so far. The airplane is 21 years old, first flight was in March 2003. There's a Bombardier C-Series 300 or A220 from Air France coming up next, arriving from Paris Charles de Gaulle. After this airplane has landed. Hard to discern the A220. Um, I thought I saw a little light earlier. And mm. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, so a bit faint, sadly. Air France, flight 1340, Bombardier C Series, aka A220 300, arriving from Paris, Charles de Gaulle. 40 minutes underway, brand new airplane. Began flying in April last year, so it will turn one next month. Also a big thank you to Ronald for your continued support. Eight months of membership and he celebrates and writes, going for green, gaza door boy, continue as is. Thank you so much for your continued support, Ronald. I will continue <laughs> as is, definitely. We've only just begun. Thank you for your continued support. I hope you will still like it in the lounge in the future. And if something isn't to your liking, that goes for all the members. Do let me know. Let me see if I can fix it. Mies asks if I visited the temporary view tower at Kaagbaan Maintenance. To be honest, I haven't. I, I, ever since Kaagbaan is closed for maintenance, I haven't been near it. Shame on me. Have you been there? And what, if so, what did, what did it look like? Do they seem to be on, uh, on schedule? Because the Kaagpan is supposed to reopen again on April 25th. I'm 
D Dylan, goedemorgen. Eversteria, goedemorgen. Mabube, good morning. And it is a bit overcastly, but it isn't cold by any means because there's hardly any wind. When I was setting up, I even put, to, uh, I even took off my parka. Now I have it on again, only loosely. I think if the sun were to shine, it would actually be warm without any wind. Unlike yesterday, when it was a bit cooler, mostly for my hands though. Outbound traffic overhead and even some vague contra contra remnants. Now the actual airplanes that created the contrails I can no longer see. Ready, our next airplane is arriving from Southampton. Embraer 175. It looks like another heavy is expected after that. Hi Clemencia, goedemorgen. I was reasonably in time home yesterday. Had a look on the traffic, uh, at the traffic on the app before driving off. And unlike Saturday when even all the inner roads, the Sluitwegen were also stuffed with cars. I was able to take a little in inner road back home yesterday and I believe I was home around well what time did the stream end I don't remember anymore but it wasn't substantially longer than my normal travel time luckily now this is KLM 741 arriving from Cartagena in Colombia it's a 7879 very floaty KLM style landing, keep up the speed, vacate late and get sooner to the gate. 8 hours and 46 minutes it has taken this airplane to return to Amsterdam from Cartagena. This airplane is 6 years old, first flight was in July 2017. Captain Jerry asks, at what age do the Dutch learn English? Well, I, back in my day, I remember I'm 41, so I went to school in elementary school in the 80s. And in 94, I went to middle school. I think we already started learning English in the fifth grade, maybe the sixth of eight. So I was 11 when going to middle school slash high school. So I think around eight, nine years old. But if you look at kids these days I think they will pick it up even sooner I'm not sure if they will offi officially start learning English in school but definitely at a young age definitely our next airplane 
either looks like a raccoon or like a bank robber, whatever you would like to see into it. Air Canada. Hadi Han, Hadi Lane, goedemorgen heren. Alles goed, hoop met jullie ook. Air Canada Flight 808, Boeing 7878, Dreamliner, returning from Toronto to Amsterdam, 6 hours and 46 minutes. Hours and 46 minutes it has flown. The airplane itself, nine years old, first flight October 2014. Canadian butt shot for breakfast. Here we go. Now, big thank you to Malky who celebrates nine months of membership. Thank you for your continued support, Malky. And Malky writes, thanks as always, boy, for your excellent work. I'm glad to hear that you're still happy with the work that I do. <laughs> Hope that will stay like that in the future as well. Thanks for your continued support, man. Thank you so much. And also a big, big thank you to Brody who celebrates three months of membership today. Thank you, boy, for your hard work as always. Well, thank you, Brody, for your kind words and for your continued support. Hope I will continue to make you guys happy with what I do here with MS Live for many more months to come, if not years to come. Triple time. Really time. Right, cue the music. No need to ask, he's a smooth operator. <laughs> That's the tune I always have in my head whenever I see landings like this. Alrighty. Now, can we see glide slopes? Think not because the second airplane is rather big and would have been able we would have been able to see it easily. Oh wait, now faintly, but I have to look on my laptop to see what you guys are seeing a bit better. Hadi Arnaud, goedemorgen. Angela, goedemorgen. Vinnie, goedemorgen. And all others who have joined in the meantime, good morning. And Ronald, yes indeed, you will, if all is well, you should be able to see me on the MPO program Focus this Thursday. Initially I thought it was Pointer. The post, the community post I made, I updated with a new URL for people living abroad who might want to see the episode afterwards, where you can find it. Sadly, no subtitles. I'm not sure if the program also puts their episodes on YouTube but I don't think they do. This is EasyJet Flight 22517 arriving from London Luton, A319. 39 minutes on the way. And Leo is asking, are you there so often that there is a, <laughs> a little path to your place? Well, not a path, but <laughs> let me see. Oh, can I show you? Shit. 
maybe maybe in the bottom end of your screen you can just about see that where I am standing there's no more grass just sand maybe over here a bit better yeah <laughs> so <laughs> there's not a fence around it that says this is AMS Live's uh, regular spot but it is trampled so uh, frequently has been trampled so frequently that grass is almost absent Hey there Jinshin, good morning, aloha mate, Tony, good morning, Michael, goeiemorgen, and all others who have joined in the meantime, good morning. Oh, oh, bringing it with the 777-200 today, let's look and listen. Basie, is that the APU that they have already switched on? Interesting. Very low bassy sound that you normally don't hear, but I think it might be the APU that they already turned on. LL, Flight 337, arriving from Tel Aviv. 777-200ER, 21 years old. Right, time for United Triple. It's a double. It's double triple time. Two triple seven two hundreds after one another. This is United Airlines flight nine six eight returning from San Francisco. Ten hours four minutes underway. Another triple seven two hundred er. This one is twenty two years old and began flying for the first time in November of the year two thousand and one. Hey, good morning, Michael. Newcastle in the house. Deshant, good morning. And Jerry, I don't know if the APU vents were open. <laughs> Did not have a look at them. Maybe you can see it if you rewind the clip, but don't know. Dirty flaps. <laughs> and the boy Jinshin. Wine time for him. Got to sleep soon. Well, you might fall asleep sooner. Not sure if the quality of your sleep will improve by going for the wine. Then again, it is nice to unwind with wine. Unwind. Still bits of blue looking to the west. Bit of a mixed picture. Not so much low clouds anymore. More high milky clouds in the sky. The sun over there. Looking to the east. And the wind on the scale of chimney smoke. So again, ah, well, <laughs> time to quickly go back. <laughs> I see that SLM is already flying to the south. Probably the next airplane after this, yeah. <laughs> I was about to have a look and see what airplanes of interest were coming. Show you guys where they were in the sky. But the first one is now number two, SLM. Used to be an interesting airplane, an A340, but now it is one of many A330s that we see. Not sure if it still qualifies as an airplane of interest though. This 
So we're having a look to see what was approaching overhead. That's an Embraer 175 going to Christiansand. Ducks and coots huddling together north of me. And this used to be an airplane of interest. Used to be an A340, now it is an A330 and it's not even, it doesn't even have any color. Boring AF. A330 200 Maleth Aero flying for Surinam Air Airways. Flight 994. 8 hours and 17 minutes, it has been underway from Panamaribo to Amsterdam so far. This airplane is 15 years old, first flight was in November 2008. <laughs> yeah, that's truth. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> says the people inside the plane qualify it as a plane of interest. Well, absolutely, absolutely, unmistakably. Okay, not a significant wheelie. Reverses then. Sadly, also no reverser action. Hey, Morgan Mario. Dave was here. Good evening, mate. No other viewers who have joined us in the meantime, good morning. You're watching Amos Live, my name is Boy, we are standing at the Polderbahn, runway 18 right. Right, let's see, our next airplane is an Embraer 175 arriving from Prague. A319 from Croatia, arriving from Zagreb after that. Older man on inline skates. Good example of how you should stay fit and active later in life as well as younger earlier in life. Two airplane glide slope shot. And indeed more black clothes. <laughs> Absolutely. Caleb flight 1352. Arriving from the Czech Republic in Prague. One hour and 13 minutes underway. Six year old airplane, first flight June 2017. Dishant asks, what does 170V230 mean in the meter? That means that the wind direction is variable between 170 degrees and 230 degrees. In other words, the wind is not fixed in one direction or blowing from one direction, but it varies a little bit and it shows the range. Jeffrey, goedemorgen. Croatia Airlines up next, flight 450 arriving from Zagreb, A319, 1 hour 39 minutes underway, 25 year old airplane, first flight May 1998, so it is a millennial. Which I think the black clothed dudes are as well, <laughs> millennials. <laughs> Hadi J.W. Slime, goedemorgen, Blackburst, good morning. Mm. 
nice bright red inner part of those units that open up for the reversers. CFM engine, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Now, what is that I'm hearing? It is a coot, but I think the culprit is swimming over there. Yeah. No, oh, it's from the other side. Uh, there it is. Right, let's quickly go back up with the camera. A350 Delta Airlines Flight 74 arriving from Atlanta, Georgia up next. Seven hours and 43 minutes, this airplane is underway now. Six years old, first flight March 2018. Right, it's getting warmer here. Time to take off the jacket again. Also a massive big thank you to Captain Jerry who just now gifted five memberships. Welcome to the Sky, uh, Aurora Sky Lounge, those new members. Don't forget to say thank you to Jerry. Jerry, thank you so much for your generosity. Welcome to the Aurora Sky Lounge, those new members. Quickly back to the north with the camera because our next airplane is a Dreamliner from TUI. Arriving from Curaçao, Willemstad. Eight hours and nine minutes underway. It's the PHTFJ. Nine years old, first flight January 2015. Adrian, thank you so much for your kind words. I'm also happy that you found the channel. <laughs> Spread the word. <laughs> now, if you think that other people might also like this stream, give it a like. It really helps to spread this content to other aviation enthusiasts. And if you want to stay in front of upcoming live streams, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Agricultural vehicle approaching on the cycling path. It's getting a bit more busy over here with respect to visitors also out on the cycling path or at least along the cycling path. photos they are taking. <laughs> Almost. Yo Evan, what is up my man? See that the West Coast is well represented again. Both Jerry and Evan 
in the chat. This is KLM Flight 644, ref from New York, JFK, 777-200-ER, six and a half hours it has flown. Indeed, Maria, I spy with my little eye. Well, big camera eye. <laughs> hey, Lasse, goedemorgen. In the train. More overhead traffic coming this way, outbound. Where is it? Air Baltic. Something heavy taking off from center. Let's look and see. PHBVD, KLM Triple, Sky Team Livery. Hey there, David. Good evening or afternoon. Evening, cool and rainy. Well, over here it is warm and, well, not warm, not cold <laughs> and mildly sunny. PHBVD, the 777 ER in the Sky Team livery. And up next is an A320neo from SAS arriving from Stockholm. And it's doing a KLM style landing. Captain Eddie Boss and Andyan, good evening to you both. Hope you guys are doing well over there in Indonesia. Ah, and the PHBVD flying over there. 737-800 outbound to Copenhagen, passing overhead. Oh, and the tractor is now also in the grass over here. Interesting, there's also a, an excavator over there, but that is in the other, on the other side. Interesting. Right up next, EasyJet. Arriving from Birmingham, A319. Flight 27842, 46 minutes underway. 15 years old, first flight March 2009. Nothing behind it. I was looking <laughs> to see if we could see more airplanes, but this is just the one. Mela asks, what are KLM style landings? Well, over here at the Poldebaan you still have a considerable taxi back to the gate. So you often see that KLM and Transavia pilots hardly brake, keep up their speed, stay on the runway late, vacate late, which means that they are sooner at the gate. Hence the name and the little rhyme. Well, there's even a contrail reflection here in the water, if you look closely. That is 
this contrail right here. Although I'm not seeing the airplane that created it anymore. Now, another airplane is turning onto the glide slope with good visibility. We normally would be able to see it. And I see also, hey, a little, that is, <laughs> little itty bitty spider that was hanging on the, on my mustache. The overhanging beard. Air France Bombardier C Series 300 turning onto the glide slope somewhere to the north. Really hard for me to see out here. A lot of reflections on the screen. Hey Liwe, goedemorgen. Good to see you again, mate. Hope all is well. Well, while we're waiting for that A220 to be seen. Somebody here is asking for some attention. Uh, no, to the left. Here we go. Yes. You've got your 15 minutes of fame now. So what do you say then? Thank you, Mr. Livestreamer. You're welcome. Indeed, Adrian, no handschoenen, no gloves on, even no jacket on at the moment, for as long as it takes, <laughs> as long as it lasts. Ross says you should do, you should try doing some magnet fishing <laughs> in the canal in front of you. Wonder what we might get out of the water then. Not sure if that is that. Yeah, probably it is. A, it probably is allowed. You see, people do that a lot these days. Magnet fishing. Sometimes they they find guns, grenades, bomb remnants, unexploded bombs. <laughs> uh, now, where is that? I really have to look on my laptop screen. Oh yeah, a bit lower than I was aiming. <laughs> uh, out here in the field, a lot of reflections on the screen. And then with that backdrop that is also not very contrasty. Bit hard to see, but there it is. Air France Flight 1444, Bombardier C-Series, AKA A220-300 these days. Arriving for Paris Charles de Gaulle. That's the second. A220 of Air France that we are now seeing, coming here from Paris this morning. Hey there Tina, good morning, happy Monday. Oh, even a few YouTubers who magnet fish in the canals in the Netherlands, Ross says. Well, I wouldn't be surprised, there's a YouTube niche these days for everything. Salut monsieur. Air France. Oui, oui. Magnifique. And let's have a look through those see-through engines, shall we? Nice French butt shot. <laughs> and Captain Jerry <laughs> found a magnet while magnet fishing. <laughs> oh man. Hello, our next airplane, Embraer 190, arriving from Berlin, KLM flight 1772. And then Michael's favorite airplane, the CRJ. <laughs> arriving from Munich, Lufthansa flight 2302.
with crisp blue skies we would have easily been able to see it the crj maybe you guys do i don't over here out in the field ah that tractor thingy that passed us by now also is on in the field on the left hand side of the cycling path looking from this point of view maybe doing some spraying later in the morning we'll see we'll still be here hey no, for a moment I thought, is it Captain Wheelie? Hey there, the cat and QJ and Mr. Ufa, Graham C, Baobab. Hey Johan, goedemorgen. Everybody, welcome to the show. At the moment, arrivals from Polderbaan. On Polderbaan, I should say. And there is our first CRJ of the show. In the meantime, another one of those Air Baltic Bombardier C Series is passing overhead, which you might also pick up on the mic. And if we can see it, but I'm not sure that we can. Our Malta A320 Neo should be following this airplane. Right, in the meantime the tractor is spraying. And the men in black have disappeared again, walking back to the parking now behind me. All right, Lufthansa flight 2302 arriving from Munich in Bavaria. Now, more people going green, including Liwe. <laughs> Thank you so much for your continued support, Liwe, and everything you've been doing ever since you've become a moderator. I'm very grateful for that and for your continued support. I hope you still like it in the lounge. And as always, if something isn't to your liking, let me know. I hope you are going to stay on as a moderator and as a member for many more months to come. But if not, then at least you will, hopefully you will still visit the channel as a frequent visitor don't know what is going on but everybody the trio that is closest by was sitting on the bench here everybody seems to have gone what are they knowing that I don't <laughs> is what I'm wondering Air Malta arriving from Malta A320 Neo something heavy taking off from center I feel a combo shot coming up Delta A330. Taking off late. Other airplanes already higher when they pass by the tower. 
Ah, the coffee truck <laughs> has arrived, Adrian is saying. <laughs> that makes sense. Right, got two airplanes that look to be close behind one another on flight radar. And we can actually start seeing them, I think. That is the Lufthansa A321. Well, spacing is tight. The separation not too great. Let me see if I can show you the pipeline after this landing. Another heavy taking off from center. In terms of airplanes of interest, at the moment the next airplane to arrive is going to be the Orange Pride 1208. Suparna around 1 o'clock. Saudia arriving around 1.15 and approximately around the same time also the Emirates A380. Transavia A321 Neos are still outbound and I don't expect we will be able to see them in today's stream. And that heavy spooling up was a Dreamliner by the looks of it by KLM from KLM. Quick look at the Lufthansa. Flight 988 arriving from Frankfurt. <laughs> Han asks, what the deodorant are you using? None, obviously. <laughs> That's how you can chase the people away so that you can stream in quiet, focus on the job at hand. The answer is no deodorant. <laughs> Next up, Tarom, flight 361, 737 Sky Team livery, arriving from Bucharest, 2 hours and 33 minutes underway. Visually not yet seeing the next airplane behind it. There is one. Now this 737 is 23 years old already. First flight was in March 2001. <laughs> Two little doggies over here wagging their tail. Curious, hey? <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently accompanied by a little dog over here. Hey! <laughs> yeah! You're on the live stream now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah! Say hi! <laughs> Die wil niet komen hoor! <laughs> ja, 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 ja! The dog thinks I'm fishing, so curious to wait until I, I caught a fish. <laughs> Ga maar naar het vrouwtje! <laughs> Ja. Ah, die, die, kijkt, die kijkt zijn ogen uit. Ja. Nou, kom maar op, denk je. Ja. Ik kan toch niet. Zo, kom maar lieve. 
<laughs> Andalus. <laughs> hey, fijne dag. Doei doei. Alrighty. Next up. Arriving from London City, Embraer 190 BA City Flyer, flight 8451. Are we going to see a substantial wheelie? The answer is no. Wah, wah, wah. The wave? No. Nothing, nothing. Alrighty, next up EasyJet, flight 27926, A320neo, arriving from Prague in the Czech Republic, one hour and 13 minutes underway. New airplane, a year old. Captain Jerry has to go. By the looks of the reactions, I missed the message, but I see everybody saying goodbye to Jerry. So Jerry, if you are still here, see you later, mate. Thanks for joining. Enjoy the rest of your week. Hope to see you again on the next one. Wide as a mother. Mother fudger, mother ducker. If it were an airplane, it was. It was. It was. It would be a sailplane. Right. A blue airplane up next, and a prettier blue airplane after that. Dare I say that? Yes, I do. This is KLM flight fourteen oh two, arriving from Paris, Charles de Gaulle, seven three seven eight hundred. Forty three minutes underway. Five year old airplane. And that is another for oh either way first landing. Also something big spooling up on center. Not a dreamliner. Flex to deflex. Flying AMS Live logo. Now, up next, Ita Airways, A321neo, arriving from Rome, flight 108, one hour and 54 minutes underway, brand new airplane, first flight October 2023. Now, somewhere behind it should be an Embraer 190, arriving from Geneva. Don't see it on my camera screen, diving into the laptop tent. Oh, vaguely, vaguely. <laughs> yeah, glide slope visibility not optimal.
Triple to China. Passing overhead. Going to Guangzhou, China Southern Cargo. Right, spinny spin. Make sure that the cables stay untangled. And our next airplane arriving from Geneva, Embraer 190 KLM Flight 1930. One hour and 11 minutes underway. The airplane 10 years old, first flight February 2014. Right, triple time up next. Triple seven three hundred ER arriving from Cape Town, South Africa. Say what? Squeaky brakes on an Embraer. Who would have thought? Caleb flight five nine eight arriving from South Africa, Cape Town. Eleven hours and three minutes underway. It's the PHBVI. Eleven years old. This one. First flight June twenty twelve. Hey there Josephine, and hey there John, long time no see indeed, good to see you again mate. Rich, good morning mate, hope all is well. Now, somebody has parked their car on the other side of the runway. Is anybody out? Doesn't seem to be so. Right. Oh, another car coming. Mercedes van. Oh, look at the width. Right, something heavy taking off from center. Can hear it happening. There's also traffic coming here. Okay, then flight 1002, 737800, arrived from London Heathrow, 40 minutes underway. 12 years old, first flight May 2011. Another A330 taking to the sky. And 
Rich is asking about queens. Absolutely. Let me see if I fit can fit uh, can fit a briefing in somewhere. Well, maybe can we do that now? Even I think we can. As the next Ita is approaching, let's have a quick look at the map. Airplanes of interest. Round 12, 12, we are expecting the KLM Orange Pride. We have a Suparna that is expected around one o'clock, uh, now flying over Estonia. We have Saudia flying over, is it still Greece or North Macedonia? 115 ETA and the same, e well, a few minutes later is the Emirates A380. Um, unfortunately, I am on a bit of a busy schedule, so I don't think I'm going to be able to stick around for the 747 that is expected around 2 and let alone 315. So, one, two queens, one A380 and the Orange Pride. Now, quickly back to the Ita. A320 Neo arriving from Milan. A nice Italian butt shot, giving us a chance to see through those see-through engines. Well, the lighting is not that great <laughs> to see through the engines. I think the sun is up too high in the sky already. Ma mi piace molto questo aereo. Here it is, the sun, already quite high. Yeah, two airplanes, as most we can see on the glide slope these days. And our first airplane, our first next airplane is arriving from London City, Embraer 190, KLM flat 980. 41 minutes underway. 14 year old airplane, first flight September 2009. How about that for a gentle landing? <laughs> nice! Not Captain Wheelie record length, I think. But it is an Embraer 190. Could it be Captain Wheelie? Could it have been Captain Wheelie doing a little practice round? Definitely one of the better wheelies that we've seen in a while. Then again, wheelie season is beginning again. Hardly any wind, luckily, today. Perfect weather to do wheelies. Now, Rich, thank you so much for your continued support. Rich, celebrating three months of membership, and he writes, Love it here. Channel is awesome, boy. Well, thank you so much for your kind words. I hope you will still like it in the future as well. Thank you for your continued support, Rich. Next airplane arriving from Copenhagen, KLM 1268, Initially we saw K1, the VW, driving on the other side. Now it looks like the replacement is coming. One of the Raptor Rangers. Big picture wise, what does it look like? Well, initially it was cloudy looking to the south. Now you can see more bluish sky. Bit more cloudiness in the distance. A few high friendly clouds more land inward. This is looking to the southeast. 
And this is looking to the east. Maybe the wind has picked up a smidge. Nothing substantial. It's still the smoke still rises nearly vertically. Might be worthwhile updating the ticker in a moment when we have the time for it. First another 737 arriving. This one arriving from Zurich. Another one of those KLM style landings. Keep up the speed, vacate late, sooner to the gate. Vacate late means you will have covered a lot of the road along parallel to the runway already. You still have to taxi along this line of trees back to the main platform area, which is behind the trees that you see in the distance. You can see the airplanes being parked over there. That's also where the terminal building is and the main tower. Now zooming out you can see just how far that main tower is from over here. And that is why this runway which was built in 2003 and is the latest addition to the network of runways of Schiphol Airport has its dedicated tower and a dedicated fire station. Now the duster is continuing dusting. Um good idea is to update the ticker altogether because I also see that there is an A319 that is now going to the center runway, which means that parallel arrivals have begun. I'm also hearing something heavy spooling up. A330 from KLM. Going to Houston or Houston in Texas or Tijas. Right. Let's do an update of everything, shall we? So, the airplanes of interest I already showed you just now. We have the Orange Pride up first, we have Suparna, we have Saudia, and we have Emirates. Um, let's refresh the METAR, see what has changed. Well, the wind has changed in direction and has become a bit more southeasterly. And varying, varying between nearly east and nearly south. Three knots. <laughs> wind speed has gone down one knot, so that is one bow four. We have few clouds at 1200 feet, 10 plus kilometers of visibility. The air temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. Easy way to switch that to Fahrenheit if you use Fahrenheit is multiply it by two. So that is 28 and add 30, 58 degrees or so. I'm going to update the ticker with the meter that I just copied. Oh. That was not supposed to happen. There we go. And also runway usage. Arrivals now also 18C or center and departures most likely will become 18 left only. Now with the sun going behind clouds, time to put on the jacket again. Also let me take you through the METAR EHAM Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. It is from the 8th, that is today, 8.25 Zulu, that is from half an hour ago. The wind, 130 degrees, 3 knots, wind direction variable between 100 knots and 170. Um, 
degrees and <laughs> not knots. 10 plus kilometers of visibility, few clouds at 1200 feet. The air temperature 14 degrees, the dew point 12 degrees. Q&H is 1009 hectopascals and no significant change is expected in the upcoming two hours. Now, Dreamliner 10 arriving from Las Vegas is up next, KLM flight 636. Meanwhile, a heavy is taking off from one, runway 18 center and the first airplane to land on it is approaching. We might be able to do a combo shot in the background. Yeah, there it is. Meanwhile, very uncharacteristically of KLM heavies, this Dreamliner pilot just used the reversers and then some. Hope you guys still have functioning speakers and eardrums. KLM flight 636, having arrived from Las Vegas, 78710 Dreamliner. And yes, the reversers still work on that one. Four years old, first flight November 2019. And the first airplane to center. Is a 737-700. KLM flight 1850 arriving from Munich. One hour and four minutes underway. Airplane 14 years old, first flight November <laughs> Why are the neighbors knocking on the walls? Liwe is wondering. <laughs> yeah, why could that be? <laughs> now, Ellen, thank you for your gifted membership. Jackie has been the recipient, the latest member of the Aurora Sky Lounge, courtesy of Alan. Thank you so much, Alan, for your generosity. And welcome to the Aurora Sky Lounge, Jackie. Now next up is Delta Airlines flight 162 arriving from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Seven hours and 45 minutes underway. A330-300. The airplane is 16 years old. First flight was in 2007 in August. Delta A330s have the potential to get loud. The question is, will this pilot live up to that? And good morning to you too, Alan. Hope you're doing well, mate. And Mark, 9 out of 10 times I will be standing here just because this is a preferential runway with the best location, the best... Also, um, availability, is that the proper word? Uh, you can reach it most easily. The other runway often being used normally... Accessibility, thank you Rich. I was <laughs> I knew I knew I knew the word but couldn't think of it. So this runway has the best accessibility. The Kaagbaan is another runway that normally is open and used uh, a lot, but views are inferior I think to this runway and the accessibility is far worse, particularly during weekdays. 
hardly any parking spots to be found. There are a few, but most of them are already occupied by people that work in the vicinity of the runway and the companies that are situated over there. <coughs> also a big thank you to Martin for your super sticker pair character rolling on the floor laughing thank you so much for that very kind of you those super stickers sadly don't show on my streaming app they only show the descriptions they are always nice right Iberia Express up next arriving from Madrid A320 Spider season seems to have begun again. And you're absolutely right, Mark. That old spotter's plaats at Kaagbaan used to be great. And then you at least have you wouldn't you would have a parking where you could drive your car to it was also similar to what is now during week weekend days uh during sunny weather over here that you have a french fry van and an ice cream truck you could also gra grab something to eat at least if memory still serves me right i do also remember having been there on several occasions when i was smaller but also when i was older and i had a lease car and I could drive there myself. Right, Embraer 190 arriving from Brussels up next, KLM flat 1704. Adi Gerrit, morgen. Good to see you again mate, hope all is well. CM Equestrian, good morning. JetBlue up next, A321neo, arriving from Boston, Massachusetts. Has glide slope visibility improved in the meantime? Not really. Next airplane is JetBlue flight 631. Rifle from Boston, Massachusetts, A321neo, 6 hours and 45 minutes underway. Brand new airplane, first flight, May 2023. Definitely bits of blue, but also clouds here and there, and 
we have two bird controllers over here. One of the Raptor Rangers and also K1 still. Did not see him. Until just now. And Bro 175 arriving from Stuttgart, flight 1828. Going to center. One hour and a minute underway. Six year old airplane, first flight, July 2017. EasyJet 8320 Neo up next, arriving from Geneva. And let's see, there should be a Transavia in the background arriving from Barcelona. Looking on the computer screen, I'm still not seeing it. I think those clouds in the background are in the way, sadly. Oh wait, now vaguely in the top left. Only just. Then I thought I saw something that resembled a wave, but it wasn't. Quick butt shot, and then it is back to the north. Transavia, the trash, the TRA-8H, up next. Flight 51, 32, arriving from Barcelona. One hour and 44 minutes underway, the 737-800, 13 years old, first flight February 2011. And very good morning to everybody who has joined us in the meantime. You are watching AMS Live. My name is Boy. We are standing alongside the Polderbound Roma 1-8 ride. At the moment, parallel arrivals in progress. Center also being used for arrivals. We have a little bit of wind blowing from the south east on average one bow four less than five knots we're still expecting the KLM orange pride two queens and a380 all before roughly 1 15 p.m. local time Well, the coots seem to have gone, at least they're not south of me. Maybe they are a bit further to the north. Do see some movement over there. While we're waiting for the next airplane to land on Polderbahn, our next airplane to center is yet another Embraer. Embraer 175 arriving from Bremen. Kilim flat 1762. 38 minutes underway this one. The airplane six years old, first flight January 2018. Hey, and for the first time I'm feeling a little bit of wind, a little bit of a breeze.
sun temporarily hiding behind the cloud will reappear anytime now and these days a lot of tour buses you will see in this part of the Netherlands this one seems to be on its way to the Keukenhof which is in this direction to the south Mr. Tours <laughs> Now Looking on flight radar, the next airplane to arrive is a 777-300ER arriving from Curaçao Vaguely visible <laughs> Very vaguely visible Still takes a little while for it to get better visible over here In the meantime, traffic to the center runway is continuing You'll already have seen another Embraer This is one 190 Canon Flight 1198 Arriving from Oslo One hour and 37 minutes underway this one Eight years old, first flight of November 2015 Ooh. Oh snap, <laughs> Look, looking just behind me there's a nice contrail and a nice little airplane that is moving away from me. Well we've seen Embraer's plenty of times already. This looks like a Lufthansa Dreamliner that just passed me by on its way to Canada, the United States, Latin America, who knows? Well, some of you will probably look it up. And in the meantime, the 777 has arrived. This is KLM Flight 736. Arriving from Willemstad, Curaçao, eight hours and three minutes underway. 777-300ER, 16 years old, first flight March 2008 A330 Lufthansa, are you sure QJ? The wing shape definitely resembled a Dreamliner in my opinion Seven eight seven nine to Austin, Texas. Right, thank you guys. I was beginning to wonder <laughs> my plane spotting skills. There's another one coming. You can see the shade of the contrail in the clouds that are below it. Could this be an A330 then? I think that it is Delta or is that Servus from Austria and that is on the bottom it looks like text oh shit it's going to reach the zenith very soon and then the tripod will lock there it is after turn back and oh, nicely visible the shade of the contrail. We'll have to wait a little bit. I also need to zoom out. Let me also walk around the camera so that I can operate it better. First up, where is the contrail? There it 
There it is. Uh, it's not Delta. Is that the A330 then? Hard to see. Hard to judge the wing shape from over here. Could also be a triple perhaps? No, no. Hard to see. Eurowings A330 to Calgary. Okay. Discover Airlines. Okay. <laughs> Well, this is number 175. Anybody home? Um, oh, the camera. <laughs> wires got tangled now they are good again this should be yeah this is the right order <laughs> they did what they did a 360 around the tripod this is better ready up next playtime a320 neo arriving from Reykjavik hey finally airplanes visible glide slope shot Is there a third airplane now also visible? Starts looking a bit more bluish. That bodes well. Again, crouching behind. Yeah, the third. No, that's just something on my screen. Well, this is already an improvement in terms of glide slope visibility compared with the beginning of the stream. So maybe this trend is going to continue. First up, A320 NEO, biplay, flight 460, 255 minutes underway. One year old airplane, first flight October Time for the magic combo, I think it is. Daytime butt shot, here we go. Right. Time to go back to one of the familiar color combinations, white-orange, EasyJet, besides KLM blue and Transavia white and green, I think probably the most prevalent color scheme visible at Schiphol Airport at any time. Arriving from Bristol, A319. On the parallel arrival, oink oink, it is the Flypig A321 Neo arriving from Istanbul. <coughs> the 
Meanwhile, a Toyota Land Cruiser from the Mother Chaussée, the military police, just passed me by. Kmar. Bloody Monday is indeed, Alan. Alan has to go already. Thanks for joining, mate. Catch you on the next one. Oh, and Jewish Slam is saying that an A380 is threatening to fly over Schiphol from London. <laughs> is he holding hostages? <laughs> nah, I'm just being flau. <laughs> Not sure if I, I will be able to see it though. This is what the sky from the west currently looks like. There is a contrail flying north of me, only vaguely visible. Also something passing overhead now. With the cloudiness right now overhead, it is challenging to say the least to see contrails. Definitely had better moments earlier in the stream to see them. Right, another Embraer 175 having landed just now, arrived from Bristol. It is Embraer happy hour, both runways now welcoming Embraer's, this is number 190, German Airways rental flying for KLM arriving from Nuremberg hey Paul, morning mate good to see, it's good to see you again Wind is picking up. It's the first time that it is consistently has consistently picked up a little. Might also be worthwhile having a look at the meter after this landing, perhaps. More Embraer 190s. This one arriving from London City, KLM Flat 982. It's the Fexa P H E X A. Ten years old. Forty minutes underway. Again, flying in December of the year 2013. Right, promising start, Captain Winnie. Nope. Nope, sadly not. Well, it is more Embraer's, more Embraer's, more Embraer's right now. Draining Embraer's. Let's just wait for the next one and in the meantime do a quick update of what is happening. Well, in terms of runway usage, obviously parallel arrivals. In terms of the wind, the meet are still indicating a sub 5 knot wind, 4 knots. So. I think that is going to be a bit more when the next METAR is published. Oh, that should be around now, so let's come back to that in 10 or so minutes from now. Update of the airplanes of interest. Orange Pride is flying over mainland UK, still 45 minutes out. Suparna is approaching, expected 5 to 1. 5 past 1, Saudia. 15 past 1, <laughs> Emirates, the grand finale. Now, 
Flying AMS Live logo up next after this itty bitty Embraer 190 that is returning to Amsterdam from Norwich. Kilo flap 1056. Let's quickly turn back. There it is. Now, let's see. Almost an exact replica. Close, but no cigar. Not enough flex in the wings. It's not a real MS Live logo. What is it then? It is a 78710 Dreamliner arriving from Panama City. KLM flight 758. Nine hours and nine minutes, it has taken this airplane to return to Amsterdam. The airplane is a year old. Its first flight was in June of the year 2022. The A380 is now over Wassenaar and Gouda, so passing by south of us. I'm also starting to see some first signs of impending weather change more darkness up ahead it was said that later in the day an area of precipitation would come to the Netherlands but I'm not sure if that would be in just one specific part of the country or if we would all be getting it and um, very clear visual change in the chimney smoke definitely more horizontal than it was before you can also see a bit more ripples in the water than in the beginning of the stream now another Embraer Looks like this one is in the sky team livery and clicking on it on flight radar confirms that. Arriving from Dublin, Ireland, KLM flight 1136, one hour and nine minutes underway, 12 years old, first flight April 2012. Yewe Slam says, yes clouds, but no rain according to the weather radar. That's good. Well, I, I, I already saw this morning before going out that in the upcoming eight hours, at least when I checked back this morning, no precipitation was expected. And I thought something in the form of precipitation would arrive later in the day. But I'm not sure if that's just for the south or for the southeast or for the entire country. It is going to get a bit more rainy and colder in the upcoming days, but also some moments with sunshine. And then towards the weekend it is supposedly getting better again, or at least a bit warmer. And good morning to Martin, who is tuning in from London and just subscribed. Well, thank you so much for choosing AMS Live. Welcome to the show. 
And if you are liking what you're seeing and you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like. It really helps to spread this content also to other aviation enthusiasts such as yourselves who might also be interested in streams like these. And if you want to stay in front of upcoming live streams, then do what Martin did, subscribe and also hit the bell icon. That way if YouTube works, you will get notified whenever I schedule another live stream. Martin is recovering from surgery. Hope the surgery has gone well. Wishing you a speedy recovery, mate. <laughs> nice one, Maria. <laughs> Would you, where do you get the idea? <laughs> Uh, Ludovicos is tuning in from Athens. Good morning. What's the temperature over there in Athens right now? Welcome to the show. Well, still narrow bodies galore. 2737 seven for a change, and now at least on Polderbaan back to one of the many <laughs> EasyJet Airbuses. This is an A319 arriving from London Luton. Georgios is also tuning in from Greece. From Kalamata, good morning. Good to see you again, Georgios. The next airplane arriving from London Luton. Doesn't seem to be anything behind it. Not visually. Oh, wait, there is a Dreamliner behind it, but still far out, arriving from Toronto. 22 Celsius in Athens, that is nice, that is not too warm, not too cold, that's nice activity weather. Let's do an update of the meter before that Dreamliner gets really close. The next airplane to arrive is KLM Flight 696 arriving from Toronto, Canada. 78710 Dreamliner. The meter, the latest meter should be, yeah, has been published right now. So the wind is has increased to seven knots. Direction is still mostly southwest. South southwest actually, first time more than five knots. Seven knot wind now. Still a mild breeze compared with what we were used to the last two days. All right. Hopefully this works. Few clouds at 1,700 feet. No ceiling. 10 plus kilometers of visibility still. And uh, Orange Pride is now flying over London. Coming soon. Now it's 11.36, I think in a couple of minutes from now, or at least that's what the normal schedule of runway changes is like. Uh, around 11.40, usually you see a runway change, runway use, it, you, runway use change, and might mean that in a few minutes from now the polar bound once again becomes the only runway being used for arrivals. Hey Aviation Dutch, good morning, good to see you again. 
Ludovico is asking about the highlight of the day until now. Well, I think... I think... Good question. Did we see Queens already? Well, yeah, I think the highlight was that despite being in a traffic jam this morning, I was still in time to film the Singapore Airlines 747, the first queen of the show. In the very beginning, I was hoping to, be a, uh, to arrive here a bit earlier. Now, the, the grand finale is all in the last hour. Starting with the Orange Pride that is coming in, then two 747s and the A380 all before 1.15 local time. So if you don't have to be anywhere, stick around. Now it's time for some heavies finally. This is in the 100 year livery KLM flat 696 78710 Dreamliner arriving from Toronto, Canada. Six hours and 46, 41 minutes it has flown to get here. Next up, Corendon slash World to Fly A35900. The rental company is World to Fly. The company renting it is called Corendon. This airplane flies dedicated between, dedicatedly between Amsterdam and Curaçao, the island of Curaçao, the sea in the ABC Islands. Aruba, Bonaire, Bonaire and Curaçao, parts of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Just off the coast of Venezuela in the Caribbean Sea. This island hopper flying back and forth just between these two destinations. Corendon flight 598. Eight hours and five minutes underway. The airplane is a year old. First flight was in April 2022. And the second airplane becoming visible is arriving from Vancouver, Canada. That is KLM flight 682, 777-300ER. Traffic going to center according to flight radar. And the last, supposedly last airplane just passed me by. So I'm thinking Polderbaan has now become the only runway for arrivals again. The LVNL website, Dutch air traffic control, it's always lagging. And in a few minutes, five or ten minutes from now, we would be able to see it confirmed or not. Is that the H1 birth control van? I think it might be. Donald and his cousin over there. No, just 53, one of the Atharte vans.
Ready. Time for KLM Flight 6A2. Arrival from Vancouver, Canada. 777-300ER. 8 hours and 40 minutes underway. It is the PHBVS. 7 years old. First flight February 2017. Hey there, Lucas. Good morning. Good to see you again, mate. Nice combo shot of the bird controller and the triple. Nice little wheelie. Righty. Now. Glide slope visibility seems to have improved a little bit. I'm wondering if we will be able to see the Embraer 175 that according to flight radar should be turning onto the glide slope from the left somewhere in the background. That would give us a good indication of how well we can see the glide slope right now. Up visible and coming this way, the first airplane to arrive is an Embraer 190, uh, E2 Embraer 190. Uh, E2, <laughs> Embraer 195, <laughs> arrived from Manchester, KLM flight 1030. Uh, oh yeah, so that is north of the North Sea Canal, so that is reason it is reasonably better now than it was before, glide slope visibility. Now there's also an Embraer 190 arriving from Aberdeen, also from the left, further up, I think it would be visible lower in the field of view. If we were able to see it, I'm not sure that we are. Probably not. Hey Marjolein, goedemorgen. Good to see you again, hope all is well. And what is that Bizjet? The M-Pink. What altitude is it flying on? 5,000 feet. Let's see, can we see it? Uh, needle haystack, you know the deal. <laughs> Hard to see. Base jet. Well, it should be in the vicinity of the Embraer 175. So actually, we might. Let me also have a look on the laptop. No. It's probably way higher. <laughs> Bizjet with the registration M Pink arrived from London, passed by north of us, but wasn't able to see it unfortunately. Pilots today, at least the first officers, very focused on their work. Maybe not enough people standing along the polder bound for them to initiate a wave. In that case, let us have a look at this behind butt shot of the E2 Embraer. Chris is vying for attention. What is up, little buddy? Animals know. The dog knew. Chris knows. Get in the vicinity of that loud guy and you'll get your 15 minutes of fame on YouTube. Nom, 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 nom. Going for a walk, going for a swim. 
getting in some greens and vi fibers. Good example for people in terms of lifestyle advice. <laughs> and in the meantime, the well, I've lost count. Embraer 175 arriving. That's two cyclists passing by on the cycling path. Wavy time, question mark. Nope. Now that M pink. Oh no, this is a different Biz jet that is now approaching. I was about to say the Biz jet is flying over. The Biz jet that I couldn't see is flying over Amsterdam, but that's a different one. Question is, can I see it? The answer is not yet. Should be over there somewhere. You really need to know where to look, particularly with those biz jets. And I do have it now. Um, get my reference, frame of reference. Right over there. Oh, <laughs> bit overkill. Well, into the digital zoom now, so that's the why it looks pixelated. This is Pro Air Aviation, arriving from Milan. Embraer Phenom 300 going to the Schiphol Oostba runway. Needle in the haystack. Now we missed the touchdown of a German Airways Embraer 190, sadly. An airplane we don't see very often, I know. Little wave. <laughs> Looked busy. Maybe somebody in the jump seat. Looked like it. Next up, a big jet, KLM Flight 767, A330-200, arriving from Bonaire. Vaguely, the next airplane behind it is visible. Looks like a narrow body, which also explains why it is still vague. Wake turbulence separation. This is an Airbus A330-200. Has been flying for eight hours and 27 minutes to get here from Bonaire to be in the ABC Islands. And the registration reads like an Italian-American going to the optician. A oh A. 18 years old, this airplane. Well, and yes, John, I do know Joe Adam. He has stolen literal video descriptions from me on several occasions. So, yes, I do know him. He says he's my friend, but friends don't steal video descriptions from other friends. So, the feeling is not mutual. The PHAOA also using the reversers. We also saw another heavy from KLM, a Dreamliner, that also did that. Is it the first Monday of the month and does that mean testing the reversers? Our next airplane is 
an E2 Embraer. As our friendly neighborhood police just passed by. Not the moped, <laughs> but the, the van. This is KLM flight 954. Arriving from Newcastle, E2 Embraer. 58 minutes underway. Brand new airplane. First flight July 2023. Another inline skater passing by on the cycling path. Yes, and Adrian, <laughs> referring to airplanes above me, man, I'm not seeing anything. It's overcast, no more blue skies over here, no more contrails, nothing. Indeed, Optimus Toaster, that definitely was a wave, particularly when, <laughs> particularly when I'm not zoomed in, they start waving. Hey there, Tony, good morning. And I'm not sure, John, that you have to, unless you feel you have to. This is German Airways, Embraer 190, KLM Flight 936, arriving from Glasgow. Is Chucky scheduled to arrive again today? We haven't seen him just yet. Hey there Barbs, good morning, good to see you again. This airplane one hour and 14 minutes underway. The airplane is 18 years old, first flight January 2006. Yeah, well, John, I thought so too, until I found out that he just literally copied stuff. Ask Paul, Yorkshire biker, I also sent him the screenshots, he saw it. I also sent it to Lance Call. he can also confirm what I'm saying, literally, 100% literally. I mean, if you cannot come up with your own video descriptions, so no, I don't consider him to be my friend. More Embraers coming in. Kalen fly 1088. And another one arriving from London City. Ah, finally, another heavy is turning onto the glide slope further north. Kalen flight 604, 777, 300. Ready to catch a wave. <laughs> and just when you're ready for it. Yeah, I suppose you're right, John. I suppose you're right, but it still feels different. <laughs> Anyway, 
let's keep things positive here. That's what I like to be all about. John asked me a question, I gave him an honest answer. I mean, up next is KLM Flight 984 arriving from London City. It's an Embraer 190 and in the distance we have KLM Flight 604 arriving from LAX. Not a Dreamliner today, but a 777-300. And it is almost 12 o'clock now. Oh shit, I forgot to update the ticker, didn't I? <laughs> At least runway usage. I think it still indicates parallel arrivals, which obviously isn't the case. Hey. Hey. Captain Wheelie. This looks like the hallmark Captain Wheelie landing. I think this was him or her. Still hoping it might be <laughs> might be a woman pilot. That would be really cool. The other the other wheelie was also long, but not as long as this one. The way the nose wheel was kept high, so high in the beginning. Beautiful. That might make a separate video, if I get the time for it to make it. Not sure if that will be today. Also, I have to watch it again, see if it really is worth a separate video. But it was a beautiful wheelie. KLM Flight 601 up next, arriving from LAX, 777-300ER, 9 hours and 54 minutes underway. The airplane is 9 years old, the PHBVN. First flight was in February 2015. Now we already saw, we already heard, I should say, a Dreamliner 10 using the reversers. Just now the A330-200 also did. Would be terrific if one of their triples also reversed. Spooled up, let's listen. Sadly not. Was a nice landing though. Chris over there is making a ruckus. We haven't seen the crow crew in a while. I'm also hearing what sounds like something heavy taking off from center. Let's have a look. Delta A330 by the looks of it. Yep. Nice backdrop. Right, big picture overview, this is what it looks like to the south. So, generally speaking, overcast right now. Although maybe looking to the west, a few patches of open sky here and there, but... Southwest is looking a bit darker at the moment. Also looking to the east. Doesn't look like it's going to rain anytime soon, but controls are no longer visible, sadly. And also, the sun is gone. And I think we won't see it back for the remainder of the stream, sadly. Um, what we will see back <laughs> is more Embraer's KLM City Hoppers. This is one of their rentals, not from uh, German Airways, but from Eastern Airways. 
I think Frank, who is always on his best with plays on word, called it a Britty Hopper yesterday. Embraer 190 arriving from Humberside. Union Jack on the front. And Jeffrey is trying to make me jealous. <laughs> the sun is still shining in Groningen. Well, enjoy it while you can, mate. Now, more KLM rental embraers coming up. Another German Airways arriving from Basel, KLM flight 1944. Emperor 190 long range, 59 minutes underway, 17 year old airplane first flight January 2007. We're still waiting for Chucky. I'm not sure if it is coming. Ordinarily, since it started flying again, we have seen it in almost every stream. Right, well, up next, a 737-800 arriving from London Heathrow and behind it is another potentially loud landing in the making. Delta A330 arriving from Detroit, Michigan, the now number two. Um, there is a third airplane on the glide slope already, Embraer 190, probably... You would probably have to look lower than the A330. With all the reflections being out here, I don't see it. Not sure if you guys did. But at least we now consistently are able to see two airplane glide slope shots. So that is at least an improvement. And it's still dry, which is also something Also something that isn't a necessary and necessarily a given. Caffeine levels in my bloodstream are running low. <laughs> the motor is stuttering. I'm hearing a heavy take off. Is that from yeah that's an yeah that's the A350 on center. Is it? There it is. The bringing us together since 1923. We saw it land here earlier in the stream. I think one of the very first airplanes. Now it is going back to Helsinki. So it's also going to pass overhead. Uh, let me see. Oh shit, Delta coming. I was about to say we could follow the airplane as it also is making a turn. Visibility is good enough, but then we would miss out on this one. Delta Airlines Flight 136 arriving from Detroit, Michigan, A330-300. Very high nose gear. No loud landing, sadly. Orange Pride due in three minutes. Thank you, Maria. Um, let's see. Yeah, turning onto the glide slope right now. And 
the Finnair A350. Let's stick with it. I think we can see it until it has passed us by. And that would naturally transition us to the arrival of the Orange Pride. What a difference hardly any wind makes. This is without image stabilizer. <laughs> Stupid clouds. Getting in our way. Lantern in the foreground, <laughs> almost interfering. Oh, shoot, the clouds might form a problem. No, they will not. Right, the airplane is now left of me. And becoming audible. Already quite high. No longer able to read the text. Right. Now, this is where it has ended up. <laughs> Quickly turn back so that the Wires don't get tangled. Even in time for our next arrival before the Orange Pride KLM, uh, <laughs> KLM Transavia. Flight 56 53 arriving from Faro in Portugal, 2 hours and 22 minutes on the way, 737 Eight years old, first flight February 2016. Hey, Jim Cathay Spoiler also back in the chat. Good morning, mate. Alrighty. The grand finale has begun. Starting off with the Orange Pride. Two 747s are following. And the A380 is the last airplane of the day, all in the next hour, ladies and gentlemen. So if you don't have to be anywhere, sit back, relax. The game is on. Right, our next airplane is arriving from Peru, Lima. It is the PHBVA, aka the Orange Pride, aka KLM Flight 744 today. It's a 777-300ER. 11 hours and 17 minutes. This airplane has been underway now to get back to Amsterdam from Peru. The airplane is 16 years old. Its first flight was in January 2008. First, a smooth gradient between the orange and the blue. Recently, it has been upgraded with a tricolor swoosh now. Let's look and listen.
I agree, Daniel, that was not a bad wheelie at all. Right, Cessna driver says, love the new transition colors. I think you are in the minority, mate. I think most people, at least most people I have spoken to so far, think that the gradient, the gradual gradient was better looking than the tricolor that it has now. But well, let's have another closer look at it, shall we? Flaps are retracting again. Okay, Limfan says that it is his or her her favorite plane. And Cessna driver persists. <laughs> Do like the flag band. I think it it reminds me that I need to brush my teeth. <laughs> it's it's almost like toothpaste, you know. <laughs> Well, to each their own. It is a very striking airplane. I think everybody will agree on that. And it isn't ugly by any means. I just say, I think personally, and I think a lot of people are agreeing with me that the gradient in our eyes look better. Now it is easier for people painting airplanes to paint the tricolor swoosh. Lisa made a very nice painting recently that she posted a picture of on Instagram. She tagged me in it. Not sure how many of you have seen it, but it was a very nice airplane. The Orange Pride. with the tricolor swoosh. Hey there Roy, happy Monday, good to see you again mate. Hope all is well. Now, our next airplane arriving is flying base. Let's see if we can pick it up. I'm not sure that we can, but let's give it a go. Let me first see if I can spot it visually. That always helps. Delta A330 arriving from Minneapolis. And 777-200 arriving from Guayaquil behind it. Earlier in the weekend when we had crispy blue skies, it was very easy to pick them out. But now, either that or my eyes are deteriorating rapidly, which might also be the case. I'm not seeing anything. so. If I don't see anything visually, I don't know where I need to zoom into. So let's just wait it out. It's almost on the glide slope already. Delta Airlines flight 164. Let me also crouch back behind the laptop, see if maybe, oh yeah, it is approaching. Great. Makes it a bit easier to zoom into. Delta Airlines. Our first next airplane behind it. Okay, then Fed 700 arriving from Guayaquil. Again, crouching behind the laptop which is not bothered by reflections as much as the camera outdoors is. Makes it a bit easier to see what you guys are seeing back at home or in the train in Lasse's case. I'm thinking the 777 will probably appear a bit lower than the A330 is right now, but That is assuming we are able to see it at all. Might be too far to the north for us to see with current visibility. Uh, let's see.
without bringing it up, I'm looking at flight radar right now and I'm seeing that the Saudi A747 is just north of Nuremberg and the Supara 747 is approaching Dutch airspace already. So I think within five to 10 minutes, we should also be able to see what runway it will be assigned to. It is now 12, 17, ah, and there's the triple right in the center. Excellent. Not sure until when this runway is going to stay the only runway for arrivals at some point. Probably shortly before the A380 is entering Dutch airspace, center is expected to reopen again for arrivals. I'm thinking the A380 at least will go to the wrong runway. We might also see the Saudi 747 land there. Luckily visibility to the glide slope of the center runway is still perfectly fine, so we should be good here, but it would be nice, of course, if both the queens were landing on this runway. We'll find out. Scooter youth trying, attempting wheelies. <laughs> Probably inspired by the airplanes. Anyway, Delta Airlines flight 164, A330, 300, arriving from Minneapolis. Seven hours and 15 minutes it has flown. Eight years old. Mate, are you sleeping? Use the reversers. The cat asks, is it allowed to barbecue in the spotter's place? I am not sure if it is allowed. I don't think that it is forbidden, but I do, I have, I, I don't recall having seen people actually barbecuing over here. I have seen on several occasions that during the summer months, whole families using parasols and, and having picnic baskets and whatnot with them are sitting in the grass, but I'm not sure if it is allowed. I think you would have to look in the local rules of the the, the Haarlemmer Meer. Uh, yeah, in Dutch it is the the APV, the the, the plaatselijke verordening. Um, there are local laws that specify what is and isn't allowed, and it might be that there are specific rules for this part of the Netherlands. Might even be the case that particularly for uh, the, the perimeter of Schiphol Airport, stricter rules are uh, apply. So it's a good question that I don't know the answer to, but I would be able to ask Officer Rulof next time he is around. I saw that he also has become one of our green members in the meantime. The second subscriber ever of AMS Live, Officer Rulof. Okay, then flat 7.5, 777-200ER, having arrived from Guayaquil, Ecuador. Is that the Crow crew flying along with it? Not sure. Is it? There it is. Looks like an E2 Embraer. Oh wow, two airplane glide slope shot. They have turned on the lights and we can see them clearly. Very nice. Embraer 190 arriving from Bergen, up first, KLM flight 1164, the airplane behind it is from Iceland Air, MAX 8, flight 506. 
Is there a th yeah, third airplane is b visible almost at nine o'clock of the number two. So visibility to the north seems to be improving, finally. While <laughs> from the south it is deteriorating. And such is life. Another Embraer 190 is now number three arriving from Berlin. Next plane is from KLM Fans City. Are you from Bergen? Another promising start of a wheelie, but not a Captain Wheelie Wheelie. Another wave from the first officer. So no reversal landing. You can just see how those slots stay shut. And KLM fan does live in Bergen, so this airplane just arrived from KLM fan's hometown. Basically moving further to the south or further to the north from Amsterdam to Bergen. Almost an exact straight line. And Daniel is informing us that German Airways Chucky is now third in queue. Well, that was at the time of his him posting that, that message. So it is the now number two. Iceland Air, Max 8. Yeah, what's, what's there to say of, about this airplane? To me it still reminds me mostly of Transavia, but then in blue, instead of green. Now luckily Iceland Air still sends their older and prettier airplanes to Amsterdam on a regular basis. Also heard a heavy takeoff from center, that is United Dreamliner. You can almost see the flex in the, sh in the, wing sh in the wings form. <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> Jason says, great work, bro. You make a workday behind the laptop much that much more enjoyable. <laughs> Well, happy to oblige, mate. Happy to oblige. For me, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow will be two more days of being uh, behind a laptop. So I know what it mean, what it feels like. Also, one of the reasons why I started doing this because I needed to do other stuff as well, be out outdoors. It is chucky. The API. With bonbons. And chocolate cake. Oh, chocolate. Particularly since I am on a diet. <laughs> well, four more weeks. We'll manage. Six weeks, twice a year. And then Back to eating normal. Apparently tour bus is also leaving the Bollestreek. <laughs> we saw them drive the other way in the beginning. Seems a bit early to be leaving already. Right. Big thank you to Optimus Toaster for celebrating a month of membership and he writes What's a Monday in the office without some planes? You're absolutely right. Not much. Without glide slope shots, your day hasn't truly begun, has it? Now this is another rental I, I, by the looks of it and clicking on the label in Flight Radar confirms that. Number 170, a 
Britty Hopper, as Frank dubbed it yesterday or the day before yesterday. Embraer 170, you turn from Teesside slash Darlington. The airplane 20 years old already. First flight was in March 2004. Time to quickly turn back, see an A320neo from EastJet arrive. Arriving from Palma de Mallorca. I'm thinking that the Suparna should be entering Dutch airspace by now. Has anybody had a look already on Omgevingsinfo to see what runway it will be assigned to? I'm hoping that the Poldebaan is going to stay the only runway for a bit more time to come, but don't know for sure. A320neo. Mario says still unknown, still over Germany. Man, <laughs> what a slow plane. <laughs> that is that that does bode well, it means that it is probably heavy. <laughs> well, well, well. What have we here? Russell and Cheryl. Now if you tuned in later, you missed the moment earlier in the stream where I had a furry four-legged co-host over here wagging its tail. <laughs> really cheerful little dog. Its owner said that it thought I was fishing and he was <laughs> wagging his tail. Very curious to see if maybe I would catch a fish over here. His owner had to take it on the leash and more or less drag it away from me. <laughs> it was having a good time over here. Really fun to see. Right, it's time for another heavy and this heavy is arriving from Seattle, Washington. Delta Airlines 144, A330 NEO. Nine hours and six minutes on their way. Brand new airplane, again flying in October last year. Now. A350 outbound to Hong Kong also took off. I'm still looking to see if I might be able to catch a glimpse of it. I think it's too late. I think it is gone already. Hey, Donald has arrived. How about that? What? Where is Daisy? Uh, something also caused a splash over here. Was that Gary the Grebe or was that a fish? Nothing seems to be re-emerging, so I think it might have been a fish. Yeah, almost certainly it must have been a fish causing that splash. Now next up, 
Arriving from Ireland, Aer Lingus, Shamrock, flight 604. One hour and five minutes underway. This airplane, 16 years old, first flight June 2007. Hey, is that Daisy? No, Donald and Scrooge. Right, sorry, got distracted. <laughs> K2, now passing us by. The driver fully focused on the road ahead. Did not see me wave. Donald and Scrooge in the meantime. Uh, something heavy is taking off, it's pulling up. Delta A330 Neo. Meanwhile, over here, a KLM 737-700 arriving from the Czech Republic from Prague. Cheers, Maria. Superno 747 assigned to Polderbahn. It's been a while since we last saw that yellow and red 747. Also, an airplane up in the sky over here, following a bit of an odd route. Thinking this is going to land on Polderbahn. This is a 737. Oh. Scrolling on flight radar. And it is in the clouds a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. Inbound. Arriving from Madrid. We'll see that soon enough because it is going to fly downwind over there. Turn base. Turn back, final, come this way. Kill them flat 1502. Right, let's see. Pum, 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 pum. 777 arriving from Atlanta, coming this way. A320 Neo arriving from Barcelona, coming this way. Vueling, Hans' favorite. Is he still in the chat? <laughs> He's gonna wanna, wanna see this one. Airplane taking off, passing overhead. Okay, then flight 1233. Barely visible. The clouds are in the way mostly. I hear another heavy airplane taking off from center. While we're waiting for something to come this way, let's have a look. That is a Chinese triple. So we can basically do the same what we also did with the A350. Unless clouds get in the way. Probably best not to follow this airplane the entire lap. Maybe catch a glimpse of it between the clouds. Now, are clouds now interfering with visibility of outbound traffic? I also saw that with the airplane that passed by just now. 
I do believe that visibility to the north, the glide slope visibility has improved a little. Still not optimal, but... And it is pretty decent, I would say, I would definitely say so, CM Equest Equestrian. I have put on my coat again, because without the sun and with the minor increase in wind, it is a bit more chilly than it was before. But it's dry still, visibility is decent. All in all, a very nice day so far. And what is that? Street sweeper. <laughs> there is a street sweeper coming this way. The driver is wearing hip sunglasses, or at least that's what it looked like. Chinese triple in the meantime is coming this way. Well, it was there <laughs> just now. You can just see glimpses of it because the clouds are in the way. Keep the shot a bit wide. Not sure how much we can see of it. Mm, let's give it a go. No! <laughs> Man! Right. Meanwhile, the street sweeper is coming. And also our next airplane from Vueling. There's a triple seven behind it. There it is. Ah, okay. Well, Han, you're just in time to see your favorite airplane. Arriving from Barcelona, this A320 Neo, flight 8309. Arriving from Barcelona, one hour, 45 minutes underway. Four-year-old airplane, first flight, June 2019. Butt shot in the making as well. Butt shot to boot. Good afternoon to Michael and to Lisette. And all other viewers who have joined in the meantime. The grand finale has begun. Earlier in the morning we saw one queen. Not too long ago we saw the KLM Orange Pride, a Suparno 747 is already in Dutch airspace and is coming. Another 747 is expected, flying in German airspace and the final airplane of the day is expected in half an hour or so from now. The Emirates A380, so two queens, one king, expected in the upcoming half hour. Sit back and relax if you don't have to be anywhere, stick around to see everything.
Hey, JD, back in the chat. Greetings from CNX. Now, I don't know that airport code, but are you in Thailand already? Hope you've had a good flight, mate. Meanwhile, Air Canada has just taken off from center. And our next airplane is arriving from Warsaw. It is LOT flight 263, number 175. And how about that? Glide slope shots. Once again, KW flight 1502 arriving from Madrid behind it. And CNX is Chiang Mai in northern, the northern part of Thailand. So you have arrived at your destination then, or do you still need to travel inland with a connecting flight? And Clementia is also back in the chat. Good to see you again. And Bro 175 up next. Not the Grzeski special livery that we saw. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? I think it was yesterday. The street art. Oh, nice and floaty. Very gentle. Smooth upper radar. <laughs> Seventeen year old airplane. And what is that in the background? E two? E two. Not me too, but E two. Hey, Infinity also in the chat. Nice to see you. Mikey, thank you for your kind words, man. Yo, man, big fan. Just wanted to say that you are doing a top job and I hope you will continue to do so, but then in Dutch. <laughs> Mikey, thank you. Thank you well, man. Very nice to hear that. We'll do my utmost best to keep doing what I have been doing now for a while. But it is not just me, of course. Also, a big thank you to the moderators for keeping the chat friendly and accessible. I'm just providing some backdrop for Cafe AMS Live. And it is you guys that make the channel. Yeah, this time is informing us that the 747 from Saudi is also entering Dutch airspace. Can somebody have a look and see what runway it has been assigned to? Very curious. I fear with great fear that at some point the center will reopen. I'm hoping we will be able to see both Queensland on Polderbaan, Swanenburg. Okay, well, Jeffrey, thank you for looking it up. Not exactly what we would like to have heard, but doesn't come as a surprise. Second airplane of Iceland Air today, also a MAX 8. Another one of those. Toothpaste, clinical, sterile, whatever you would like to call it. Beautiful livery. Just curious, is there anyone watching right now that seriously thinks that this livery looks better than the old with dark blue and orange? And I'm not asking you to speak up to make a joke, but in all honesty, is there anyone who really thinks that the new livery looks better than the old one? 
because I still have to meet that person. I'm very curious if there are any. <laughs> And Marinda is asking a nice question. She asks if the Polderbahn is the only runway where you can get this close to the airplanes. The answer is no, but you need to know where you need to look. If you go to Google and I think if you Google Spottersplaatse Schiphol, something like that, there are several websites that have maps where every spotter's place imaginable around the airport area has been mapped out numbered and the pros and cons are listed and also how to get there polderbaan is the best accessible one in my view because of free parking and the facilities but there are definitely also good spots elsewhere but you need to know where you need to look. And right now, because of the closure of Kaagbaan, runway 0624, it has changed a little bit. So it's also dependent on what runways are in use and what aren't. Well, Liebe, you're right. Free parking at the MAC. But officially, that's what Bart told me, Officially, it is a blue parking zone, so you need to put your parking, what shall we call it, that blue circular thing. <laughs> and officially, it is a two hour limit, I was told. Now, I never once put that thing behind my window. That way, they can never know for sure when I arrived. So far, on a few occasions that I've been there and I have been streaming next to the McDonald's, I haven't incurred a fine. Don't say that too out loud. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sneeze coming up. Oh. Right, nipped it in the bud. <laughs> that might have gotten loud. <laughs> Could have gotten loud. Hey. Bonus Queen, Singapore Airlines Cargo, the airplane that we saw land as one of the first airplanes taking off again back to Singapore, question mark. I don't have time, yeah, going to Singapore. Parking disc, thank you Remco. <laughs> That's the whatchamacallit that I was referring to. <laughs> Right, um, that was a bonus queen. This is Kingdom Flight 1614, 737-700, arriving from Milan. Hey, it is Gary. Good to see you, mate. Where are you? There you are. Gary Grieb, you mother ducker. Han, don't look. A320neo, more 
goodies from Vueling. This is also the Great. Luba has to go. That is very unfortunate. Two queens and one king still coming, but you know I will timestamp them. Thanks for joining Luba. And enjoy the rest of your day. Now, up next is Norwegian. And according to Flight Radar, it is a regular ass standard livery. No grumpy people on the tail. Not sure if that is true. We've seen it on several occasions before that Flight Radar isn't always accurate. But looking at the tail already, you can see this time around it is actually true. Lipstick airplane. Alrighty, let's turn back, have a look, see what the glide slope is showing us. That is two things of beauty, another one of Hans' favorite Vwellings, followed by one of Hans' favorite 747s. <laughs> In the meantime, a big thank you to our latest Aurora Skylines member, Paul. Paul, thank you for choosing AMS Live. Another poll in the chat. <laughs> there are so many already, we should number you guys. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Be sure to use the custom emojis that are now at your disposal. Spam us to death with them if you want. It's all good. Goods are making a ruckus, both north of me and south of me. Welling flight 8353. 8320 arriving from Valencia. Let's land it safely. Let us focus back on the 747 that we haven't seen in a while. Superna Airlines arriving from Shanghai. Flight 87415. Let's bring it a bit closer with some digital zoom. Now, don't get scared why it looks so pixelated is because of the digital zoom. Also, a warm welcome and a big thank you to Sarah, who celebrates four months of membership and she writes, greetings from Boston, keep up the good work. Greetings back from Amsterdam. Thank you for your kind words and for your continued support, Sarah. Hope you will still like it in the lounge for many more months to come, but if not as a member, I hope you will certainly keep coming back as a regular frequent visitor. And if something isn't to your liking in the lounge, do let me know. And I'll see what I can do to fix it. Superna Airlines, 11 hours and 39 minutes underway. Arriving from Shanghai, 747-400, 32 years old. First flight, August 1991. Let's look and listen. Yes, that is exactly what we wanted to hear.
Now again, I cannot be held responsible for any speakers or eardrums that might get damaged while watching AMS Live. But this was a good one. Right, the flaps are retracting, which goes relatively quickly, I have to say. Now, sadly, the other 747 and the A380 are going to land on the wrong runway, as was to be expected, given the time of day. So, count our blessings that we were able to see this one. And is this stop Air Portugal? It does look like it. Arriving from Lisbon, flight 668 A319. And it seems to be standard for those Airbuses that the inner part of those flaps opening for the reversers are bright red. Something that I hadn't noticed before, but recently saw. And also a massive big thank you to Jeffrey, who just now sponsored five new members for a month of AMS Live membership. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Very generous of you. And also, if you are one of the recipients, don't forget to say thank you to Jeffrey for your gifted membership. Be sure to use those custom emojis whenever you see fit. Jeffrey, thank you so much for your generosity, mate. And welcome to the Aurora Sky Lounge, those new members. Now, Clemencia asks, do you know why ATC for the fourth time that the A380 will land it on 18C? Clemencia, that has to do with the timing, the time of day. There are schedules where there's basically a planning at some points two runways are used for arrivals, one for departures and sometimes the other way around and Usually around one o'clock you see that the runway usage gets changed and now it's getting busier with inbound traffic which means that the center runway switches to another runway for arrivals instead of departures like it was until just now. And then after an hour or so I think around two o'clock usually they switch back. So it depends on how busy it is with inbound and outbound traffic. Now it's going to get busy, more busy with inbound traffic, so they use two runways for arrivals and one for departures. And when it gets more busy with outbound traffic, like it was until just now, they are going to use two runways for departures and one for arrivals. If the A380 is early, if it was here before one o'clock, it probably would have landed on Polderbaan. We also saw that during the winter time when there was one hour less time difference between Dubai and Amsterdam I don't think that in Dubai they have summer time and winter time they just have one time all year round which means that the time difference in the winter months mean that we see the airplane land on Polderbaan very often if it isn't very excessively delayed and during the summer months we hardly ever see it because it almost always arrives at the moment where the center runway has just reopened. In the meantime we are seeing traffic go to the center runway, this one being 
KLM flight 1602 arriving from Rome 737-900 one hour and 48 minutes on the way now the airplane is 22 years old and began flying in June 2001 for the first time and Gzesisla Gaming asks what is your favorite plane? <laughs> Man, you're asking me the most difficult question that there is. There are so many airplanes that I like. And there are hardly any planes that I don't like. I like different types of planes for different reasons. Some I like for the aesthetics, some for the engines. If I have to pick a favorite passenger airplane, I think all time it would be the 747. If looking at current day airplanes, I think the A350 and the A220 rank among the highest. But that doesn't mean that I don't like the other airplanes. Very difficult question. Now, this is Turkish Airlines flight 1957. It is an Airbus A330-200 arriving from Istanbul. A little bit ahead of schedule on average. The flight time around this point is three or so hours. Now it is two hours and 53 minutes, so it's a negligible gain in flight time. The airplane is 15 years old. First flight was in August 2008. Mark has to go. Sad to see you go again, but such is life. Thanks for joining and see you on the next one, mate. And the same goes for Roy, who also has to go out for lunch. Enjoy your lunch, mate. Thanks for popping in and see you on the next one. Meanwhile, we're sticking around for one more 747 and for the A380. Both are going to land on the center runway. So we're basically going to see the same of those airplanes as we did of the Turkish A330 just now. We need to start two petitions, ladies and gentlemen. One to get those trees cut so that visibility to the center runway from over here is unobstructed. And the other one is for KLM to bring back retro liveries. Me and Rick Meester we're talking about that the other day, well recently, a couple of weeks ago already, and we said jokingly we should round up all the AMS audience and basically, and I see the 747, so let's switch. Each time KLM posts something on YouTube or on Instagram, we should all comment below it, when are you going to get us retro liveries? That should probably wake them up, see that there's a demand for it, hopefully get them to start doing something about it. I think in all seriousness, if several thousand people would do that together, it would be something that they would be hard pressed to ignore. Anyway. Arriving is Saudia Cargo, operated by Air Atlanta Europe. Saudia Flight 9337474400. Arriving from Jeddah. A320 Neo in the meantime has landed here, which you might have picked up on the mic. The Saudi Cargo 747 has been flying for 5 hours and 44 minutes from Jeddah to where it is right now. And the airplane itself is 27 years old and began flying for the first time in the previous millennium, back in November 1999. Oh. Zooming out just a teensy bit was a bit better. Ah. I 
I thought, really thought I saw those main gears do a spinny spin. <laughs> Going full circle. Would have to look that up again, rewatch. I could have sworn I saw it do a 360, which I think it would not be able to do because of the brake pipes, but. The brake tubes, but it almost looked like it was <laughs> it was going around the horizontal axis. Ready. That was the Saudi A seven four seven. Before the A three eighty arrives, let's have another look at what is coming to Polderbaan. Embraer 190 arriving from Aberdeen. Kilim flat 914. In the meantime, the sun here has gone. We've gone from here and there sun to overcast conditions. Big picture wise, southeast, south, southwest, west. Northwest. East. Northeast. Back to the north. Wind on the scale of chimney smoke. Bit more horizontal. More embrayers. And Clemencia is saying that there is something with the right gear. Right, so my eyes were not deceiving me then. I could have sworn that it was spinning around, uh, almost like a fidget spinner. And surely that cannot be possible or shouldn't be possible because of the, the brake tubes with the brake fluid and stuff. Anyway, KLM flight 1800. And Rick is asking, will I be here tomorrow? Sadly not. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my working days. I will be sitting behind a computer making phone calls and talking with people all day. <laughs> EasyJet, um, EasyJet, BA, <laughs> having arrived from London City. Caffeine levels are running lower and lower and lower. Luckily here to save the day is the ultimate. What is up Alvin, good to see you mate. Show's almost about to end, we are still lingering around until the A380 will have landed on the wrong runway and then it is time for me to wrap up. So you missed all the highlights already, including a little doggy that was over here co-hosting very enthusiastically. According to its owner, it thought I was fishing and was waiting for me to catch a fish. <laughs> anyway, Transavia going to the center runway and Tui or Corendon coming this way. Not sure if it is Tui or Corendon. The airplane livery is Tui. It says CND or CD130. I'm assuming it is Corendon. Might not be. Might also be regular Tui. It's a Max A that is arriving from Ibiza after two hours and one minute now touching down here. Two years old, first flight December 2021. Can we catch a wave? Feels like we're surfing, trying to catch waves. Mate, I don't know where you can find the dog. I did not 
look at the time when it happened it was in the beginning maybe the first half uh, first hour of the show maybe the first one and a half hours don't know for sure after the airplane that is now coming has landed i am going to wrap it up and we'll be going home so in a few hours from now but i think alvin you will probably be asleep by then i will timestamp it otherwise come back tomorrow and save you the searching you need to do definitely was cute absolutely <laughs> It was, it was not a leash initially, came to me, there was a second one, the second one uh, went to its owner and that one dog kept lingering here, <laughs> very cheerfully wagging its tail, looking into the water next to me, right below the tripod, was lucky that the camera tripod was going so low that I could even show you, <laughs> or at least the people watching back then. Anyway, last airplane of the day, Emirates Flight 147. The daily flight between Dubai and Amsterdam, the A380-800. As you guys can see, still the current standard livery. At some point, they will all be updated with that ribbon tail to which our members already have access. Normally speaking, at this point in the sky, this airplane would have flown around six and a half hours and it is almost exactly doing that. Six hours and 33 minutes according to flight radar. If anybody knows when exactly the, the clock starts ticking on a flight, is it when they are airborne? Is it when they have pushed back? Because there is a remarkable consistency each time with those flights from Emirates. Makes me wonder why that is. Must must start at the same moment in the flight. But I don't know which when it is. Looks like there is a runway inspection in progress in the meantime at the Polderbahn. Bird control pickup truck driving around with flashlights on, which I will show you in a minute. Let's listen. I think we might hear the reversers. Now they've spooled down again. I definitely heard it over here. I hope you guys picked it up on the mic as well. Probably you did because of the lack of serious wind. In the meantime over here, the bird controller is doing a runway inspection. So no traffic going to Polban immediately. On that bombshell, it is time to end. I am going to wrap it up. Got a busy day, still a lot of things to do, so I have to wrap it up now. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. I had a blast and I hope you guys did too. Hope to see you on the next one, hopefully later in the week. If you like what you saw and you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like. It really helps to spread this content to more aviation fans, such as yourselves, who might also be interested in live streams such as these. If you want to stay informed of upcoming live streams, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. It really helps also to support the channel. A big thank you to everybody who supported in form of super chats, super stickers, becoming a member, gifting memberships, buying something from the merch store or donating something through PayPal. The channel is nothing without you guys. You guys are the channel. Thanks for everything. Thanks for joining me here. Thank you moderators for keeping the chat friendly and accessible. I hope to see you on the next one. For now I'm going to say goodbye, take care, enjoy the rest of your week and see you all soon.